all the lambs being shorn now. Bags of wool, skirting board, all the yos. The fleeces, lamb fleeces, you can see are very short. They don't have much, not very long. So we're down to the last few lambs for shearing. Here's ear feather whom I shore earlier because she was having a bit of an issue, weren't you? There's ear feather, you can see her ear feather. And then the last ones that get shorn are gonna be the alpaca that are in there. These are the three ram lambs. They're gonna go join the rams. So, heading towards the end of the shearing day. <laughs> totally. They get bored. So Andrew's there hearing one of the O lambs. Bindle's resting. Right here, I'm going to show you. This is the size of one fleece. When it's been pulled out on the skirting board. So you can see it goes all the way down here. That's one leg. It goes all the way over. This is another leg. That's a bit of felted stuff, so that has to be pulled out. You can't use that uh, in a fleece for weaving or spinning. Come along here. This is the neck part of the fleece up here. Here's That's the neck part of the fleece. And then here's the other leg coming down. So you can see it's very, very large when it's spread out on the skirting board. And we'll take, we'll, when you skirt it, you're pulling these bits off. And a bit of the neck fleece, because it'll be dirty with stuff. Look at that. Brambles and things, and it's lethal when you're working with it to find some brambles in it. So the neck fleece gets pulled off and gets dumped into my big dragging bag here. So that is one whole fleece. This is the side that was against the skin of the sheep. And for those of you who think that uh, a sheep is damaged when they're shorn, you can see there's no such thing. So that's what was next to the skin. That was what was on the outside. So the sun, the sun bleached this, this color. So you can see the difference. And there's Inca. Inca, come here. I want to show you something, Inca. Oh, come here, Inca Dink. Now, Inca is almost the same color as a Zwartzloss fleece. So there you go. You can see how big this one fleece is. This is one fleece from one yo, stretched out on the skirting board. Isn't that right, Inca Dink? Back up to the field. Uh, We're not, she's, she's at the other end. We've got to go all the way to the top of the laneway and push them back down again. That's what we have to do. They all think they're coming back up this end. 
Sorry, ladies, you're going up to the wind charger field. How are you, gorgeous? Sorry, ladies. Girl. Come on. Come on, ladies. Come on. Ah, the girl. Go on. Girl, get him going. Good girl. There we go. A flock of shorn ladies. Having a pee. How rude of me to film a yo having a pee. So hopefully we won't have very much fly strike anymore. Andrew's still shearing the uh, yo lambs down below. So I've got to go continue helping. You've gone the wrong way, mister. The other reason for shearing the lambs is that they grow fatter quicker to cover their bodies. Oh look, this rabbit hole is getting very big. Go on. Go on. So it prevents fly strike and it makes the lambs eat more to get lovely and fleshy on their bones. So there's the shorn flock of lambs.
There's three that weren't shorn because they're very lightweight, small lambs. So they need their fleece and I'll just keep an eye on them for fly strike. Otherwise, everything's shorn. Yos, lambs, and rams. <laughs>